All right, this is it, everyone. This is our final vlog um, and my third attempt recording it because something keeps happening. Um, kind of put off recording this as well just because like it's over, right? So we're back home, been home for a few days. Uh, we miss everyone. It's kind of surreal doing these uh, vlogs now because before I was talking to everybody back home, now I'm talking to everybody here as well as all of our new transplant fans, uh, our friends back in, well, all of the countries, right? Um, it was a wild experience. Uh, it was more than I ever could have imagined um, from touring Italy to winning the bronze and then of course to getting engaged. Uh, Stephanie and I, uh, I proposed to her at the top of Bormio, uh, which was just an amazing moment and if you missed that vlog, you should go back and go watch it. Um, but yeah, the regard, like you could take just one moment away from that and the whole thing was still amazing. So uh, just a reminder, chase your dreams. Um, it was my dream to try and put together a group of curlers uh, to go to this, and we did it. We got it across the finish line. Yeah, we would have loved to have won gold. Um, and yes, I will admit I complained in one of the vlogs about like the bracket and stuff, but like the reality is it is what it is. We only had one sheet and time restrictions and things are complicated. But you know what, we still brought a medal home, we still made a team, and we still got there, and we came home and had an amazing experience. Um, my goal is to try and keep this team going. We'd like to play in some more bond spiels around the states, um, maybe even up in Canada, and uh, you know, kind of further people's awareness for organ donation and how it's keeping all of us alive and going. Um, all three of us on the team that have had organ transplants have different stories, and of course, it's just amazing to get to play uh, curling with my dad overseas. Um, and to win a medal with him, right? Like, I don't think he's ever really won anything before and to win something with his son had to be special to him because I know winning something with my dad was very special to me. Um, and it's a moment I'm gonna remember forever. So, um, but yeah, you know, organ donation's important, people. So those of you who are curlers, that's important to remember. And then those of you who are transplant recipients, our goal is to further curling with you guys. As you all know, I was known as the curling guy all week uh, in Bormio, and I will talk curling all day long. So if any of you guys want to chat or have questions afterwards, reach out. Uh, I will chat anytime. I love this game, and um, it's what keeps me going a lot of the time. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I don't worry about my health. I don't worry about the bad day. Uh, when I'm on the curling rink, like, none of that matters, and it keeps me keeps me healthy, the social aspect is great, uh, working on my balance and so forth, and then it actually keeps me working out through the summer to make sure that I'm in shape in time for curling season. So, um, it's a great sport. Those of you who have not tried it, you should definitely go try a learn to curl or whatever it's called in your country. Um, I know ice is definitely less available in other countries as we learned, so, but um, love meeting all of you guys, love sharing our stories about curling, loved hearing about your guys' passions like skiing and so forth, and I loved all the instruction I got from all of you who are good skiers. Um, Snow Trails, thank you for teaching us how to ski because I did get around all of the gates in my slalom event, so I'm very proud of that. And then, you know, after two more years of practice, maybe I'll get a little bit better, but we're home now. Uh, we did go, we did ski one last time at Snow Trails before they closed. Um, Went to uh, our league on Sunday night as well and shared our, our bronze with everybody there. i um, going to share our bronze with everybody at league tomorrow night. And then I had bowling league last night and I shared my medal with them and the good news about the engagement. So, um, But thank you everyone so much for our, joining our journey here. Um, this is actually already the longest vlog, so I'm going to try and wrap it up a little bit. But I do want to do a few thank yous at the end here. I wrote them down so I don't forget them. Uh, uh, first of all, the Todd Keating family, um, uh, I loved hearing about his story. Nicole, thank you so much for bringing that story to us, and I'm so glad that we were able to bring him along with us on our shoulder. Um, he was an organ donor, and uh, we find that amazing. Like, we, we exist because of organ donors, as do all the other people in the games. And um, 
thank you so much for sharing that with us. And uh, we were honored to have him on our sleeve of our jerseys. Um, then I also want to thank the Bormiel Curling Club. I know you guys only had one sheet and we made it work. And also thank you so much for inviting me to come curl with you guys and do some practice with you guys at the end of the games. That was, that was a real treat for me. I really appreciate it. And I will be following you guys uh, from back here in the States. Maybe if you guys get in the States, I'll come watch you. Um, and then the Pittsburgh Curling Club, thank you so much for kicking off our fundraiser initially at your guys' uh, Tropic Curl Bond Spiel. Uh, we really, really appreciated that. That really helped make sure that everybody was able to go on this amazing trip. Um, the Columbus Curling Club, you guys are awesome. I mean, I'm there all the time. You guys know I think you guys are awesome, but I really appreciate it uh, on all the support all three of us do. Uh, Fort Wayne Curling Club, uh, thank you for lending Michelle to us. Uh, that was really awesome. Uh, you guys are great. You guys were huge supporters as well. Um, Marcus, uh, thank you for telling Michelle to reach out to us because now we got a new best curling buddy to play with us. So we really appreciate that. Um, Matt and Ramiro, uh, you guys have a lot of footage that we recorded on these GoPros to go through and hopefully you guys can get a few of these stories that I was not able to get into these vlogs because these vlogs, uh, I tried to keep them short. This one is already long, so I've given up, but um, there's just so many stories that I could not get into them. So, and there's so much footage. And as I was editing it on my phone every night or every morning and evening sometimes, uh, and trying to find Wi-Fi to upload the videos, it was it was difficult, and I only got what I could in there. And as as the week went on, my phone started slowing down, so I had to, could add less and less footage to it. But uh, yeah, you guys have more time. You guys have computers, and hopefully, you guys can figure something out with the mess of footage that we recorded for you. And then um, Shane, thank you for helping out with our leagues and uh, helping Matt and Ramiro with uh, all of the filming and stuff. And it's been great to have you on this adventure with us as well. Uh, Eric, thank you so much for helping our family uh, while we were gone uh, and also helping teach my dad uh, how to call out the numbers for the weights. Uh, it was pretty fun to watch him learn and call you Coach E all the time. Um, Ryan and Ann, you guys are amazing for watching our puppies. Uh, that was, uh, I'm so thankful that you guys took care of them. We knew they were in good hands. We really missed our, our puppies and cats and stuff. Like, I mean, our animals are our babies. And then last but not least, thank you Snow Trails for helping us learn how to ski safely. And thank you really the Transplant Games and Team USA for welcoming us uh, and uh, sharing your skiing knowledge and we loved sharing our curling knowledge with you guys uh, and I mean I don't know I could I could chat forever about like how amazing this trip was but we really enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed following along with us and like I said we'll try and find a way to do something as we go on when we're definitely going back in two years it sounds like it's Switzerland so I guess uh, get ready for that Anyways, thank you again, everyone. Uh, we hope you're all doing well and chat with you later.